be best true. Player. And the reason we're talking about this uh, for Princess Beatrice and her boyfriend Dave Clark. Now they have reportedly called quits on their ten-year romance after make-or-break talks uh, about marriage. So uh, today we are up. asking: Are relationship ultimatums a good idea? This is Anne Atkins, who strongly believes in conversations that have to be had, and Helen Croydon who says she would never stand for any sort of <laughs> ultimatum, which is part of the, part of the problem. Part of the problem, because you, as they say in the film, you can't handle the truth. Isn't that what's wrong? What truth? What? <laughs> well, if, what if the, a man was saying to you, right, oh, come on, I want children me right an now, ultimate. or we're I'd over. be a little bit insulted if someone gave me an ultimatum, because I'd think, well, are you not, am I not expressing my love or my commitment to you. Obviously not. And, yeah, because I think if someone needs to ask it, then there's an underlying problem there. There are more ways of expressing commitment than getting a ring on a finger. But so, hang on, hang on. so what would you do if a man said, will you marry me? Well, yes, no. Well, well I don't want. The, I don't want the question. Well, yeah, it depends who it, it depends who <laughs> well, it is, and I might consider I mean, it. Ultimately, they that is an ultimatum. Yes or no, that? That's what I propose. But I think what we're talking about here is the ultimatum of okay, yeah. well, if, you I, don't you know, if you me. don't marry me, then we're going to split up. So you know, that's that's slightly different than just mm. a, a normal um, marriage proposal. But I think if. You can feel commitment. I think you can feel if someone's into you, and you don't necessarily have to have the big ceremony to symbolise that. And I think we are a little bit obsessed in our society with what I call, you know, the fairy tale, getting a ring on it, and that's it. We all live happily I ever after. I understand that, that that not everybody wants to get married, and I think that's true. You know, girls, I don't think should be peddled that kind of fairy tale that your life will only be complete if you marry. And, and have children, but and the children issue. Mine was totally. Yeah, my life was complete. a mess, darling. Yes. I met you. Mm -hmm. But the children yeah, issue. Not still there. It does come a point <clears throat> with because of age, where a woman is going to say, "Look, where is this going? Yeah. Because if it's we are not, going to have children, we need to crack it's not, on." Well, it's not necessarily the woman. I mean, I, I know a bloke who did that, yeah. and I mean, you said dire consequences. That could be a very good consequence, actually. He, he, she just wanted a, a sexual relationship. He wanted marriage, and in fact, it took about a year for that. His ult it wasn't an ultimatum because he didn't present it like that, but actually, it was underneath. Mm. Um, and and they eventually split, and quite right too. And I don't think that's a dire consequence. What about I think Beatrice? that's a result. I, mean, I think that's a good result. We don't know all the details no. or their conversations, but the, the rumor is that they've been together ten years, yeah. and that she probably would like to have children. And they have. We don't know who started that conversation but a conversation has been had about marriage yes. 10 years is a long time yes to be with somebody do you think she's right if she has I called an ultimatum she should have had had the conversation eight or nine years ago to be perfectly honest but what you have to do in in any situation like that you have to work out what you want if she or it could be a he wants to get married and have children and the other one doesn't the sooner you discover that discrepancy the better because she spent 10 years in her 20s with somebody who apparently if mm. you know our um, information is mm. correct which it might not be apparently doesn't want to settle down and marry and have children but is and that necessarily does. 10 years wasted though and she might have had a lovely 10 years yes she might have had a fabulous it, 10 I think years. Think we, <laughs> we define the success of a relationship i think with or is it going to last no. forever? Or are <coughs> no, we I'm get not. And no. they may, they may well still have I'm a not very defining it like that. good quality I'm of relationship. I'm defining it if you both want the same thing, and therefore it's a very good idea to have the conversation. If he wants one thing and she wants something else, I don't think a split <coughs> is a dire consequence. Have you ever been in that situation, Helen, where it's where <coughs> somebody has issued you with an ultimatum? No, and I tell you why, because I've always been very open about what I want in a relationship, and but that's what I she's think, being, isn't it? Mm. She is, but I think if you've got to ten years and you still don't know whether that person wants to be with you or not, then so there's some sort of earlier. breakdown there in communication. Are you saying I kind of pretty much straight away? Yeah, let I don't them think know. it has to be as cut and dry as having that conversation of okay, are we going to be together forever or not? Because I think that comes across in any healthy relationship anyway through your conversations. If if both partners are including each other in future plans things like that you know you talk about these things if you're in a healthy open relationship so I think well, you'll you feel it and, uh, yes I have might prefer in, um, him to have that conversation that's a traditional way isn't it but ten years and I, I get <laughs> Helen's point if you've been with someone for ten years yeah. I would like to think that she would know right we're not having them now but we've but talked about someday being yeah, parents yeah, or be, someday getting you know, married so you kind of know maybe she was happy for ten years in her twenties happy to have a mm. boyfriend right and now she 
she's getting to the end of her 20s, she wants a yeah. husband. There is nothing wrong with that. Well, the then, that kind of the issue roles, is what... The wrong. issue, then, is an expressment of commitment. So, she's, so she might be saying, OK, marriage means a lot to me. I need something to symbolise this, and for me, that's marriage. Now, if he's really into her, whether he's marriage-minded or not, he will say, OK, I'm committed to her, therefore I'm willing to marry. Exactly. But the issue, but I think, is whether you're committed. But obviously, and the he's marriage not, itself because is just a symbol right. of that, but there are other ways to express it. Of course it, there are, but the marriage is the most obvious way to express that. And again, if our information is correct, he's not wanting, he's not committed to the commitment. She wants a commitment, so therefore, much better than yeah. that. I mean, I, I, I have a friend who did exactly this, the very sort of cliched thing. She'd been living with her boyfriend for about five years. And when they split, we were absolutely astonished mm. because they were such a fabulous couple and they seemed so, you know, together and everything. And she said, well, he couldn't make his mind up. And two weeks later, he did make his mind up and it's now several children later and a fabulous, you know, several decades on. And it was totally the right thing for her mm. to do. But what you have to do is you have to decide that you would be happy with either, you know, you'd have to say, I'd rather not have him at all than have him and also yeah. you have to be yeah, that's what you have to, be prepared to decide to carry and that also, through if you, you issue have to an ultimatum be prepared. also i think if you give someone an ultimatum and they say yeah okay i want to be with you mm. can you live with the fact that you feel that you force them to do that oh, yeah. good not, point but it's not a force it's it it a point we're out Helen. of time we're out of time it, it is <coughs> that's a very good it is point a force. Though. and ruth has lived very happily with the knowledge <laughs> of that because obviously when we met i had other options lots of other options and she's very like you Helen. very like you she wanted the relationship there was the ultimatum type thing like that. No, I did. It was I me actually who wanted the marriage. You weren't. You did some, want the yes, marriage. Yes, I'm like okay. Anne on that I wasn't front. That, you know, first yeah. it's very nice. But actually, I did. We did have that conversation very early on because I was in my thirties and I thought he needs to know that I yeah. do want children. And I had all and those other girlfriends and I, just they had <laughs> to know. They had to know. They were all devastated. Where they stood with that. Now you two have got everybody talking, and this is the topic of our phone in today.